Hi, I'm here at La Mazzocco in London, here to see my friend Estelle. My role is a support role for our resellers and end users. So be it training, um, doing events, cuppings, kind of just going to people's roasteries and hanging out and helping them in whichever way they want. Can you tell me a little bit about your journey in coffee? The company I started with, I worked for them for four and a half years and they were based in Wales and Bristol. You have competed in the UKBC four times. What actually prompted you to go down this competition route and what does it actually take to compete seriously at this level? The first time I ever competed was when I was back in Wales. Didn't really know <laughs> what you had to do. I'd watched the world ones being streamed, read the rules and thought I could do it. Got up on stage and couldn't talk. Oh my so god! I said who I was and then I lost it. Did the whole thing, you've got 15 minutes. So you make four espressos, four cappuccinos, and four signature drinks. You've got four judges sat drinking your coffee. Two technical judges stood next to you making coffee, and then a head judge. My head judge was James Hoffman. Um, so back then I was a bit kind of scared of him. Wow. And yeah, did it all in silence. <laughs> so I didn't do very well that year. So that was 2009. Then 2010, I placed seventh. So just missed getting oh, into the wow. finals and then obviously last year and this year coming third. It was quite an achievement and it's a huge achievement. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And you're the top ranking female barista yeah. in the UK. I like that one. The difference from the first time to the next three is just practice, but then also uh, a shot of alcohol. Oh, really? Before going on stage. Oh, okay. What did you do to prepare for the last UKBC that you were in? This one, I actually had a coach, Steve from Caravan. Right. Um, he actually coached Nick Clark, who was the New Zealand champion last year. So he got him to the Worlds last year. Having a coach, you realise that you don't have to do everything. So just cleaning your cups and just kind of doing the little things which take up time. Being a barista and competing, I think it's quite tough because you normally do like 12 hour shifts. Yeah. And then at the end of the day, you don't want to practice. Yeah. Or it's a busy restaurant. <laughs> so I would be going in, you know, three hours early. It amazed me when I was watching you in the competition, how many different skills you need to have. It's not only the technical skills and having to know the origin of your coffee. Um, you have a specialty coffee as well that you have to present. Did you do anything to train for that as well? I have a kind of a rough speech. Um, but don't actually have a, a you know a complete set in stone speech just in case you mess one thing up. Especially when you're you're doing things at the same time and you've got music playing. Some people sync everything to the music, or if they're pulling their shots, they know they should be talking about this. When they're doing this, they should be talking about that. So if you completely structure it and you mess up on one thing, then you're completely out. So as the Lama Zocco espresso ambassador, you're going to make me the perfect espresso. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> Start off with a nice dry, clean basket. We're using a scale, so that's for consistency. Then we grind the coffee fresh for every shot. Then we're going to groom the coffee, make it nice and level, and then do one nice level tamp. Flush the group one more time, and then insert and brew immediately. Then we have our extraction, which should be between 25 and 30 seconds. Are there any trends or pioneers in the industry that you particularly like or, or are following at the moment? When it comes to roasting, now I'm here, I'm working with a lot of different roasters, so there's quite a, quite a range that some people are still roasting slightly darker than the real light London roasts. Mm -hmm. What's your preference? My preference is a lighter roast, but I think that's just because the last five years 
that I've been in London, I've kind of used coffees that are lighter roasted. And if anything, I'd prefer like an under extracted shot. Okay. Than having like quite a dark, bitter finish. finish. What advice would you give to someone that is wanting to compete in the UKBC? Read the rules and get yourself a coach. I want to know whether you think that coffee or making coffee is a science or an art. I would say it's an art, but everyone seems to be getting a lot more geeky <laughs> in the kind of weighing and doing things with numbers, refractometers, yeah. and that side. But I think that you can take that away from it all and still have great coffee, which then takes it back to being an art.